So hi, I'm Doreen. We are back here. This is, I think, video number three <laughs> Woo -hoo! with uh, Lorna and Sandy. Lorna and Sandy. And uh, we're going to have, we had two weeks of practical, technical things. Today, they're going to start their very first picture. And there's no reason why you can't do that too at home because there's no need to play around with technical stuff too long. Eh? It's just crap. So. <laughs> Let's get into some good stuff. So they've chosen a picture of a tree with some sky and some grasses in front. So when we're doing a bit of a landscape, the main thing is that we do is remember your focal points. So you want to cut your, not cut it, but I mean literally, but you sort of look, eyeball a third, a third, a third, a third. So your focal points are here, 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 and here. So that's your best focal points. You don't want to ever put anything way on the side like this or way down here or put your moon way up here you want people to look at. You want what you want people to look at, put it a third of the way in and in. Okay? So uh, you're going to do the sky first. You always do your background first. And your darkest is at the top because the world is sort of like, like this, round. So your dark sky is at the top and then you're going to go lighter, 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 lighter. And then your horizon line a third of the way up from the bottom. I think you're both doing that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the bottom of your of your uh, grasses will be darker because they're right in front of you. Okay? So we're going to do the darkest color. Now you're doing a bit of a, a nice orangey uh, sunset sky and you're doing a blue sky. So this is great because you have both here. So far ahead there, take your darkest, deepest blue and put it across the top. Now if you put lots of water, it'll blend. No, no that's softer. This one here. Yeah, take lots, of, take lots of it, put it on, right, and just swipe it across the top. You don't have to do it too much. Take some water, and um, you don't have to kind of like put gobs of paint on. Just kind of swipe it across the top. The very top, the very top. Very top, Sandy, that's it. Or Lorna, sorry. Right across the top there. Get that nice and dark. Do a little bit more on there. One more swipe across the top, that same color more paint. You're not using enough paint. You're, you're a bit skimpy on your paint. Don't. Yeah, use more paint. That's really good. I can even use a bit more at the very top. You've got almost two strokes here. You can take that top one now and put it darker. Put it plain red. And you'll get a nice, yeah, no, put more on there. Put more. That's it. Get some paint on there. There you go. Don't be afraid. That's it. And never ever, okay, this is a little bit of a, a rule here. Yeah. You never take your brush and go halfway. See the brush mark? Do, yeah. Do, do. You take your brush, go right across. Right across. That's it. That's it. And st or if you're going from the edge, always start from the edge. Yeah. And go in and feather it in. Never start your brush from the middle or somewhere in the painting. You're going to have to start getting lighter now. You're, you're going the same color all the way across. Get some little bit of white in there. Start getting some white and some softer blue, warmer blue, and some white. And more, a little bit more water in your brush and more paint. Got two little, there you go, there you go. Yeah, you don't have to keep going over. Once you got it, let it go. Okay. Do your next line down. We can lighten this up a little bit. We're going to the oranges now. Do a little bit of scrap of orange right into your pink, your ready color there. You can just put plain orange right into it. Plain orange? Yep, yeah, okay. sure, right, right into it, right into here. Then you'll get a progression. Put a little bit of water in your paint. Go right across first, and then you can get water in it. You won't have a line. Now you go across the middle of that line, and the line will disappear on you. There you go, blends right in. There you go. And yours is blending in nice too. See how that's blending in? Mm -hmm. That's really beautiful. Yeah, it gets lots of white in there now. You want that quite light. That's quite a bit darker than, you want it bright. Yeah. So get some lots of white in there. Yeah, and then you go right now. You go take okay, your yellow and do the yellow. same here. Yellow now. Do a nice start stripe straight yellow, and then you can blend it. Beautiful. Oh, now you're going. Now you get a nice light color. Okay. Now you're gonna have to. Okay, and then get your edges here. 
make sure you get your edges right across. Now you've got a line here too, so you want to take your brush now with a bit of water on it only, a little bit of water, and go right and put your brush in the middle between this two colors okay. and blend them both in. So you don't have a line, lose that line. There you go. Now you're going up, now you're going up too far, just the line. Yeah, that's it. Just when you see it blending, then you can stop. Okay. Don't keep going over and over and over it. Just one time. And you go right into a yellow, broad yellow. You're almost at the line, but I put yellow on this last stroke. Get some yellow on there, straight yellow. Nice and yellow. Yeah, lots of, get it really lots of, yeah. You can actually take a bit of that blue and put lots of this blue here if you want. And put a little, lots of white with it. Go a little bit of a turquoise if you want brighter. <clears throat> it's kind of pretty on the horizon. Ooh, Go a little bit of turquoise. Put some turquoise with the blue. Mm -hmm. Just mix it with the blue. Take so a touch of that turquoise and it'll kind of brighten it up. Lots of white. You're good. Okay. Okay. Wash the brush. Wash your brush good. You're finished with those colors. Now, if you want to do little pots of uh, clouds in there, you can. If you want to leave it like that, it's up to you. Well, I would like to do clouds. You do? Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> you want to take a maybe a bit smaller of a brush. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take lots of water on your brush. Not lots, but quite a bit of water. Okay. Touch it in the white and go in there right now before while this is wet. Because okay. you don't want to do it when it's dry. It'll make too harsh of a line. So, you want a nice soft line. Kind of The clouds kind of mush their way into the sky. Make sure you get rid of that line right away. So okay. don't keep going over it. Go down further. Mm -hmm. Okay, a little bit lighter. Get nice and light. More. Add more water, or more white, and more water, and more white, and go down further. There you go. Now you're getting it. Okay, you get rid of that line. No, just down here. You need to do it not up there. Okay, and now this got you haven't got ranch a line here, so it's good. Now you, you see what you did with your brush? Yeah. Take it right across. There you go. Now take some, um, a little bit of water, just water, mm -hmm. and get rid of this big line. Okay. Now you can take um, a piece of uh, Kleenex or paper towel, mm -hmm. and you can kind of soften those edges if you want. You don't have to have your clouds that sharp. They can be sharp on the bottom. I just find that clouds um, are fluffier on top and they're harsher on the bottom. So just your top, fluff it up a bit. This even works, Kleenex even works good. And if you put more paint, I think you had quite a bit of, you had quite a dry brush there. You want to get it nice and moist. Okay, so that's we'll perfect, that's really good. You got a line there, but that's okay. That little line, see? Just saw, that's it, just get rid of it. There you go. It's gone. Perfect. Now you can wash your brush up really good. You're finished with your blues. Now remember, it's the top that you want to blend in, not the bottom. You can even do a line of white on the bottom and then and then have it fluffing up, right? Because it blouse, sometimes your clouds are kind of a little bit darker grayish on the bottom and then they go whiter, 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 whiter and it goes yeah. across it. Down. So yeah, that's what you want. Nice, that's really good. See that? That looks really, really good. Even, yep. Don't don't fuss with it too much. If you fuss, it'll it'll, it'll, it'll turn phony. into yuck. Well, it'll be <laughs> look phony, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So when you got it, that you like it? Yeah. Stop. Okay. Finger painting. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you clean your brush. Top. That's it. Maybe more of the top in. Not too high up. Just, just get rid of the line. That's all. Yeah. yeah there you go. That looks really good, actually. Oh, that looks lovely. You got some clouds are happening. There you go. Hey, you can use my red, orange, and yellow there because you've got those colors in your tree. She could. Yes, we could just switch palettes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Jerseys. Okay. So I think we're just going to let that dry. I think it's pretty dry. I haven't really used much moisture at all. Dry already, I think. Yeah, that's dry. I can tell it's dry. It's you can tell it's dry because it's not shiny. So when it gets dull. There you go. 